How goes it, everybody? I'm Kujo, and welcome back for another Craftopia episode. Yes, we're into episode number three. We're trying to get caught up with everybody else on the server. As you can see here, we are not. We are still in iron armor. I have done some mining and stuff and resource collecting and made it a tree farm area, but I got logged in one time I was AFK, and I discovered some things. So let me go and show you this. It's not good. We have been visited by the bamboo fairy. Decided to deliver us all the bamboos we could need for a bit. And it says here, you'll need this. And there's the bamboo cutter 3000. So we're going to equip ourselves with the bamboo cutter 3000. And we're going to hack this stuff away. All right, so we got that all cleaned up. Uh, it's no longer a mess over here. And as you can see, I think we already covered it. Yeah, we covered our tree farm in the last video, I think. Um, so yeah, that's uh, we got her all cleaned up now. Somebody also spammed a bunch of our chicken eggs around. Wasted our precious chicken eggs. Look at that. You poor chickens just had your, your stuff just wasted. We got our fire still cooking over here. Um, we got some bamboo in here. We might as well clean all this up. I just made, uh, specialized chests over here for just our bamboos because we almost got two double stacks of bamboo. And probably if we put all of our other bamboo, I think we'll actually, two, not double stacks, two double chests of bamboo plus a couple more. Uh, we also were gifted this. Uh, I believe this was maybe Sam and... I know Morgan, I think, was involved, so we're going to have to get some retribution somewhere. Fortunately, we don't have a lot of supplies to retribute things <laughs> right now, so we'll get something figured out to uh, deliver to... Oh, look at that sneaky creeper up there. Hey, buddy, you want to come down and take a swing of my bamboo cutter? You're kind of the color of bamboo. All right, so things to do today... Ah, oh, that guy's going to fall right on my head, and I know it. Um, is... We, I want to get some, possibly a bamboo farm up and running, uh, just to make more if we need more. Um, because we are going to do a lot of building with the bamboo, because it can be, it looks, I think it looks good with the Polynesian type uh, builds. It'll look great. That and hay are good. Um, so we need, may need a farm there. We may need to get some villagers over here, or the villager breeder possibly also. Um, but first, I want to go enchanting some stuff. So let's head over to the end, and we can get some uh, enchanting done. So if we follow our... I, I put these bricks down here to kind of direct people towards where our place is. If we follow these, we should be able to... There's a random freaking... You want some of this? Do I have gold on? I don't. Do you get angry with me if I don't have gold? <laughs> He's running away. Look at his little feet just going. I can't. He's so fast. I can't keep up with him. There we go. So we follow these bricks, like I'd say, before I was interrupted by the random friggin' hoglin, piglin guy, up on the roof here. Looks like Morgan already has been chickened, so we can't do that. We need to do something different. But if we hop on over here and continue following these guys, we'll go by another base. I believe this is Coleman's base? Yes, Coleman's base. <laughs> it says right there. We continue following these to Sam's, which I don't know if I can pop into Sam. Sam, I don't know what he's... I haven't seen his. I don't know if he's got spoilers or anything. He, he does a lot of big building. So I don't want to ruin anything there, but as you can see on this post here, it says end this way. So we'll go past another portal over yonder, which is spawn. That's the spawn one. We went in that with Morgan, I believe. And then I don't know whose this is, but it's very nicely decorated over here. So that's... I don't know how to say her name. Roji... 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 I don't know. Oh, there's another portal over here I didn't see. Who's this one? I need to eat. 
So I think we're going to end up making some tunnels and decorate up here. So it's not so just... Uh... Oh, that's Sid's base. Nice. But let's continue following towards the end portal. And we do... Somebody, I think Morgan, I believe it was, set up a an end farm. So there's another portal that way, obviously, because you can follow the deals up there. But if we can continue following this diorite, the bird poop with the lantern on them. The poop lights. <laughs> the poop light. We can continue following this a long ways. It's not that far away. We're almost there. And this should be the end portal. I hear... He must be down underneath. I hear a ghast. Let's pop through here. I have been to the end. I haven't done the dragon or anything yet. So I didn't do that without you. But I have popped in here to get some levels. Because I want to do some enchanting. But, uh... I figured we're not going to set up our enchanting setup yet until we have a closer area for for levels than this. And levels experience isn't an issue at that point. Let's hop down here. We'll run across our freaking scary little bridge. It's not Cujo proof because it has no sides on it. And all the Endermans. Look at their wavy little arms because of the, that mod I have. <laughs> it's uh better animations it's the one that uh morgan had can i kill you first thank you so we'll come through here we're gonna get some levels oh my gosh it's so loud holy cow all right let's do some enchanting first right oh we did not bring our lapis did we we'll be right back all right, so I'm back with some lapis, and I'm I'm not gonna do a lot. Fortune three, that's that's a good start. Fortune three, I'm breaking. Efficiency four, that is a pretty good start for a pick. That's that's what I'm looking for. I have some diamonds down in the the abyss, but I wish I could get mending on this. I'm not gonna unenchant it because trying to get mending through here, I believe. Oh, oh, there was a torch on there too. Was that not a full enchant? But let's try some swords. Let's try a little sword action. Looting three on the bamboo cutter. Looting three, sharpness four. That's pretty good. What do we get on this guy? Oh, we don't have enough levels. So we can grab our looting three sword and just get all of the things. Might as well grab some pearls while we're here. And that should be enough levels again. Bane of arthropods. I don't really want that, but we can unenchant it. Yeah, we don't want that. Let's unenchant this. Let's get our levels back. And we don't have enough levels again, so let's get some levels. I really feel like there should be a railing of some kind around here to help people who are not good at the game. Bane, why is it Bane of arthropods for again? And I'm breaking. That's terrible. Okay, we're able to do a uh level one enchant on these boots and get feather falling on them and that brings us up to sharpness four so will we get yes fire aspect sharpness sweeping edge i think that's gonna be good is there a is there oh there is an anvil right here there we go so we can go through here put these together i kind of don't want the bamboo cutter name sorry sorry but we'll have fire aspect two we will have sharpness five sweeping edge three and looting three this will be like the ultimate sword all right now that we have the ultimate sword we don't have unbreaking on it so it would be good to get another sword with unbreaking and mending but we may get some villagers for that we need to find a village we need to get two guys a minimum of two guys brought to us we just want to get some levels up so we're ready to enchant the next time. It's super loud here. I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, we're back at the base. And the first thing I want to do is I want to come through here. And we are going to fix up. We're going to make a quick drop out of these and a water elevator. So we're going to pop down here. Oh my gosh, I love the efficiency. It's amazing. We probably should have grabbed some kelp on the way down, but I forgot. So we're going to head up and get some now. All right, so we have our kelp. We've dumped our water down. It's being held in place by ladders over here, which is nice. So it's not going to go anywhere. And it has a pocket at the bottom, so it's not going to go anywhere down here. And it's also held by uh, the other stuff. Can you plant this on soul sand? I don't remember. So we're going to have to climb back up, and we'll just plant all of this, which will make all of these sources. At least it did before. I don't know. 
It's a new update. They change things sometimes. All right, so what I want to do for back here is we're going to carve out a little place. We're going to cut in another tunnel. And this is where our quick drop part is going to be. This is going to be like a five-step process <laughs> drop way to get up and down thing. So if we just go like that, put water here, then we can... We haven't done that yet, but we need to get one more bucket of water. So I'm going to crawl up our ladder. And then all of this should be held in place and super cool. So then we're just going to dig on this side the same way we did on that side. This one will take a little longer, though. So now we should have a quick way up and down from our diamond level and our iron level. We should be able to come in here, just pop this out, and then you know, the bubble should start coming. We should be able to shoot up all the way to the top. That makes our trip so much faster. And to go down to the iron, we just push forward. Boom, we're in a quick drop. And then we can hop up here and just shoot over into our bubble column. And then diamond, same thing. Just push forward. We'll drop right in our water here. And look at that. We have quick ways up and down to both. Base improvement number one, check. Okay, I think I want to get a bamboo farm up and running automated type deal. And maybe even a uh, sugarcane farm also. So I think we're going to carve our way into this wall right here. So we'll just kind of square this thing out. All right, so this is what we're looking at here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have, there'll be glass in this way. It's going to be nine by nine. It's like nine wide here should be that, right? So that would be nine. Yes. Yeah. So we're not going to have it planted in this. We'll probably have a three high glass thing so we can see a lot of it. And we may not, we may unboxify this room and bring the ceiling up more cave-like and stuff at some point. But for right now, this is what we're going to do. Over here, we're going to have a little service area. So this is where the things will actually be planted that we're planting, depending on which side. So I think we're going to do, like, kelp. We're going to do, which we don't really need a lot of kelp, but <laughs> I don't even know if I want to do it. Maybe actually we'll just do sugar cane and we'll do um bamboo that might be a better choice of things to do so we'll clear out some space back here behind and this needs to get turned into dirt and we're gonna have to go under the dirt also to get some collection going but then we'll have our redstone stuff back we want to give this at least three four high oh there's gravel there i guess that works that's not what i was planning on doing <laughs> but I guess it works. So that'll give us a little bit of a cushion to bring these up. All right, so I'll grab some blocks of glowstone and maybe light this up a bit here. Um, we got a little bit made. I kind of want to cut this out too because it's kind of annoying to have this in the way of the path here. We'll kind of trim this back a bit. We'll manicure it a little bit more once we're done with our farm. But for now, that can do. We'll dress all this up when we're done with our farm. But I put some bamboo blocks down in the back. Um, so we're going to need... I think this row, I think we're going to put uh, glowstone in. Just keep everything nice and light and bright. There we go. That'll light everything up. And we'll put our pistons on this row. So we need nine pistons. <sighs> Let's do something cooler. I... Let's make them sticky pistons. Do I have any slimes? I have no slime. We do have a swamp over there, but I don't think we're going to get slime out of it. So I was thinking we could do, if we can find some slime, we can make these bamboo blocks. And I'm sure you can push bamboo blocks. And then it'll just kind of look cooler, you know? Be all bamboo-y. I think that's what we're going to do. Can you just add... I wish you could... Can you click slime? On a, on a piston to make it a slimy piston. A sticky piston, I meant to say. I'm going to find some slime. <laughs> All right, so as my brain works, we got sidetracked. Uh, we needed slime. I tried waiting out in a swamp next to our place, in a mangrove swamp. And I ended up dying because there were so many mobs out there. So I found a slime chunk, and it's actually right next to our mine. Um, I'll show you how we get to here in a minute, but... It was, I died down here also <laughs> because this place was right next to it and needed to be lit up and 
it was nasty down here there were so many mobs down here it was ridiculous but we got it handled i had a baby zombie uh steal my stuff but even at the back here look what we found this is pretty neat huh there's a regular spider spawner we're definitely gonna do something with that so now i have i don't remember if i showed you the skeleton spawner we found but i did find a skeleton spawner near our base also uh, not near enough to this one to kind of combine them, but there is a uh, a skeleton spawner close by that we can use. And now we have this. It's not automated. We have to manually uh, sit in here. But we can hop up here to our AFK place. So this is our AF play, AFK place. I can speak, I swear. Um, we just sit up here for a few minutes. And then we end up getting some slimes to spawn. We'll see if some will spawn in a minute down there. And eh, none spawned. But <laughs> they will. They have spawned. We do have some slime. We got 18 in our pocket. And I think we have some more up. We have enough for our piston so we can continue our farm at least. But if we come through this tunnel, we come out here. And this is our diamond level mine right here. So it's like right around the corner from where it's pretty much directly under where our base is. Because we walk that way and there we are. All right, so we got some iron, and we can bind up our deals. And we can start getting our farm going again. So this is the whole purpose of, of our distraction, is to get these guys. The sticky pistons. If I can place them correctly, we should be good there and then we need some more of the bamboo blocks so let's place these down and there we go probably put one on the sides here too I want everything that you can see to be the bamboo blocks we are going to have to change this because i think i'm gonna have into i'm trying to work out my i used to have a, a little circuit that was like individually firing pistons so it would be um more efficiently running i was thinking about using a chicken to fire these i think i want to try to get it more efficient than that so we're gonna put observers up there somehow we're missing a glowstone now when we broke it even though we're breaking it with a fortune pick we did not get four back all right there we go all right i'm gonna continue working on this and i'll bring you guys back in when we get a little closer to being all right a little bit of an update oh i don't want to eat some gunpowder i would like to eat the baked potato um it's going to be nighttime again but we got this done let's see if we can get lucky and have one fire there we go as you can see only one fires super efficient and how i do this it's probably a better way to do it but basically what this is, is an observer into a repeater, into a block with a dot of redstone. And then, can't really see, I need some blocks. Give me blocks, please. And then into another block of redstone, powering this block, which powers this piston. And I, I don't know if it matters, but I, I do the double right click. So it's just a dot and it doesn't go off to the sides to try to prevent them from powering these blocks also. And then this side is the same thing. It just has another uh, observer to stagger it from the other side. So it doesn't, they're not getting cross powered. So only one piston fires when that particular observer's... Um, observer is activated so this one only fire this piston this one only fire this piston makes it a little more efficient the way I, the reason i like doing this is because sometimes you'll have something grow and like say like this one is just at this height right and it's almost about to grow or even if it's just at the second height and this one grows and it fires all of them at once this one maybe just have was about to grow up to three tall but then it resets it because it broke it off at the two um, so then you're not getting as many, you're kind of resetting the growth on some. This one, it only fires when that particular one is, uh, grown all the way. Once it grows up to three, then it, it's good. There, and I put these up here because for, and it wasn't working right for some reason. I think it was probably user error when I had it put behind. I think it was just the way it was set maybe. Um, but it, 
worked out better this way for me to put it up top and then just have all the observers. So there, it is kind of observer expensive, but that's okay. We're getting rich eventually. We just got to hook up the collection system into here. So we're going to run a rail, uh, collector rail down under these. That one doesn't actually, this dirt doesn't actually have to be here, does it? Because it just has bamboo over top of it. But we can run our our collection system over this way. And I think we're going to have it run up over here to this side. And we're going to put a bunch of furnaces in right here at this level. And we'll have um, hoppers into the back with the rail going over top to feed our furnaces. So we'll for, first, we're not going to start building up much uh bamboo because it's going to be used actually we could probably use the stuff we have over there to um fill up our furnaces and, and use it as furnace fuel but over time we're going to keep getting more and more and more and more and these will eventually stay full and then we will have free furnace fuel it's not really good fuel but it's free furnace fuel and then we'll build up a surplus of the bamboos also uh, that was a very long explanation of what's going on but in order to get all the hoppers and stuff i need to go get some iron again so I'm going to hop down in the mines and hide for a little bit. Oh, hi, zombie. Nice to see ya. Ooh, that was a little bit of lag. All right. So I'll see you in a little bit. It's just a little update for you. So uh, I found something I've never found before. So I found an iron vein while I was out caving and trying to find some iron. This thing is amazing. You get so much iron in here. It's crazy. Like, basically, I've, I've never done this before. I'm sure you've probably done it before. You've probably found an iron vein. I'm a little behind the times, you know? I'm basically just digging out wherever the tough is, like just kind of following the tough and just mining around. And I find all the, look at all this iron. I love Minecraft. <laughs> it's so cool finding all this new stuff. It's, I know that iron, iron veins aren't new, but they're new to me, kind of. I've never really found one before. It's so cool. We, look at how much iron we have. We've Like who needs an iron farm? Who needs an iron farm? This is amazing. I'm going to keep mining this out and finding all the iron we can find. And I'll bring you back home. All right, so we are back. And I want to show you what we came away with. Look at... We have that many stacks of iron from that vein. And I didn't even wipe the vein out. Those things are so amazing. i definitely glad I found that. That helps so much for trying to get this stuff done. I was mining for a while down in our mines, and then that was not working out. Um, I wasn't finding, like, any iron. We're mining at 40, which I believe is the correct correct uh, spot to go mining at, and it, it just was not working. Was not having it. Um, let's grab... So we have nine chests there, right? Let's grab nine stacks of bamboos. We'll put a stack in each, and then we'll come through and we'll put a stack of iron in each. For now, this is not automated, obviously. But we will get automated once we have the iron for our hoppers. Okay, one thing I've noticed since starting this farm here is that it is not going to be enough to support. Like, I I was AFK for a while, and we only have this much. Um, so that's not going to be enough to support our smelter guy. So I started making this. This is a, I think it's a 17 by 17 um, farm. It's going to be all bamboo. It's going to be a flying machine farm. Once I get it all set up, I just had to go out and mine some dirt. And then I think we'll get this set up. I've never done a flying machine farm, so this could be interesting. And I kind of... I want to keep everything not, like, very modern looking, but I feel like if I use... I wanted to use glass to surround this, but I don't know if that's going to be the best choice. Because it's going to look a little too modern-y, so I might have to use... I have an idea of using some bamboo to surround it, maybe. We'll put, like, kind of like a bamboo fence to, like, hold everything in. But I don't... I think the bamboo from the flying machine is going to... It's going to get out of that. But we'll see. I'm going to play with it a little bit, and I actually think that's going to be it for this episode. I'll probably play with it off camera for a little while. But if you stuck around at this point in the video, I truly appreciate you. You're super amazing. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you got something to say, say down below. And of course, if you like the video, hit that like button. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye-bye.